What's up guys? It is windy out here, so I put the little fuzzy thing on the mic. I really hope that helps, but it is blowing very hard. Let me not stand underneath these death traps up here. Welcome back to Foothills Firewood guys. My name's Britt and today we're going to be figuring out how much this fresh split tote of red oak weighs. Let's get it. All right guys, we just got a package in the mail. You see what it is. We got a crane scale. It's supposed to be up to 2,000 pounds. So a lot of you guys know recently I just got this tractor over here and I would like to see A, what its lift capacity is, B, how much these totes weigh species specific. So when I fill up a full tote, one third of a cord stacked of a specific species, i.e. not just a mix of hardwoods, I'm going to weigh it and see what it weighs. First up, let's weigh some oak. Popped it open, this is what you get. Not much to it, seems heavy duty enough. Comes with the batteries, gotta love it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you being here. It is extremely windy here in North Carolina today, so bear with me. Hopefully the mics can cut through some of that. We have had so much rain the past couple of days, really the past two weeks, that my wood yard is so muddy that I have had to move stuff out of the wood yard to even be able to make a video for you guys. But here we are, the sun is finally shining, and I have questions. Hopefully we'll get some answers today. Today's video is about IBC totes, specifically how much they weigh, and today's edition is gonna be red oak. Uh, IBC totes are nothing new in the firewood industry or in the firewood uh, game here because people have been using these for years now. I do think that they are becoming more and more common as people see the value in their ability to be moved around on their property as many skids become more and more prevalent and you are able to, and more and more people own tractors, you're able to just fork these things around, stack them up and move them around your property. If you have a wood stand that's at the end of your driveway, instead of carrying bags up there or on the back of a four wheeler, which is how I normally do it, you can take an entire tote full of bags and, and move it up the driveway as long as you have something to move it with. So the two standard sizes for anybody that doesn't know what IBC stands for, it's intermediate bulk container. And the two standard sizes are 275 gallons and 330 gallons. Today, we're gonna to be doing a 275 gallon test. I do have a couple 330s, but they don't have wood in them right now. The significance of the 275 is that either if you stack the middle or you cut on 18 inches, as long as this thing is full, you have a very full one third of a cord or a face cord, a rick, a row, whatever you call it. Uh, if you loose toss this in to a 275 gallon, you have about a quarter cord. So this right here is what I would consider a truckload in my truck or a four by eight by 16 face cord load of wood. Um, these are 48 inches wide and roughly four feet tall. I've got two rows there. And then of course you've got some space in the middle. Nevertheless, this is one third of a cord of fresh, split red oak i split this two days ago uh, this tree was cut down in the end of december so about a month month and a half ago and again split two days ago curiosity is killing me so i got online and i bought this uh, rishi or rishi crane scale i want to see how much a tote or a one-third of a cord tote weighs green from that point i'm going to let it season for a year and i hope to revisit this video and see what we've lost I'm gonna get this thing hooked up. I'm trying my best not to tear this tote up. I've only got two chains and these straps. If I had a D-ring or something like a shackle that I could put both of these chains all in one and pick them up with this crane scale, it would be a lot easier, but I'm having to kind of improvise, so bear with me. Uh. 
That's the problem is this thing's only going to hold two hooks. All right, both hooks are on there. Now we just gotta make sure these are tight and they're not currently, but they will be. All right, so I have this thing, what I believe to be uh, shackled up enough to get it in the air. What we need to do is turn it on and go ahead and get the weight of these chains. Might have to hold it here. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. All right, we're gonna zero it out. Okay. I think we would all agree that that's in the air. Let's see what the scale says. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Let's see what the crane scale shows us. Try to do this without getting too close in case these chains pop. 1,629 pounds. Red oak, one third of a cord, split 48 hours ago. All right, let's get this thing back on the ground safely. All right, y'all, so uh, a friend of mine down the street knows a guy with a way station uh, not too far from here at their farm. So one of these days I am going to uh, test it on a way station, like at the farm way station, where I can just fork one of these onto the back of my truck, go be weighed, and then come home, take it off, and then go re-weigh. Uh, I do believe Mike Morgan did something similar to that. The only difference uh, that, I, that I recall in his video was that he had a tote mixed of cherry and red oak. Uh, I think if you're going to be doing these to actually get some really good data that will help people either make purchases in regards to a mini skid or a skid steer or a tractor that even is able to, compact tractor that is able to lift a certain amount of weight, I think you need to do uh, the tote full and I think you need to do it species specific. So anytime I get a tote, no matter what the species is, if it is full of nothing other than that species, you guys are gonna see a video on that. This is probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter video here, simply because we are out in the driveway in the name of science. Uh, I appreciate that data. I really hope that you guys can do something with that. If you guys are looking at picking up a skid steer or mini skid, compact tractor, full size tractor, whatever it may be, now you know a tote of red oak split two days ago weighs 1,630 pounds. I really appreciate all you guys watching. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, the subscribes and shares. And until next time, we're out here having fun. Thanks for watching.